Hi, I'm Jim Rokitsky for AC Delco. Today we'll focus on General Motors Active Fuel Management, or AFM, and replacing all AFM lifters in V8 applications. For V8 engines, AFM is used to switch the engine from 8-cylinder operation to 4-cylinder operation to save fuel under light load conditions. When the engine control module, or ECM, commands the AFM system on switching to V4 mode. The AFM system uses a valve lifter oil manifold, or V-loam. The V-loam delivers pressurized engine oil to four normally closed solenoids. Each solenoid regulates pressurized oil to the intake and exhaust lifters to deactivate selected cylinders 1, 4, 6, and 7. To deactivate AFM lifters, pressurized oil from the solenoid forces latching pins into the lifter body, allowing the outer portion to follow the camshaft lobe, while the inner portion remains stationary. To activate AFM lifters, the V-loam turns the solenoid off. As oil flow stops, spring pressure forces the latching pins out, locking the inner body to the outer body to engage the pushrod. A mistimed switch event may result in AFM lifter failure. AC Delco has analyzed engines where lifters collapsed due to a mistimed switch event. Witness marks show damage on the latching shelf of the lifter. This happens if the latch pin is not fully engaged at the time of the loading and damages the edge of the outer body latch shelf. The inner body can become stuck inside the outer body, creating a collapsed lifter. If an AFM lifter is collapsed, low compression will be found on that cylinder during an AFM compression test with a consistent valve train tick noise, service engine soon light on, and misfires on the related cylinder. Valve lifter failure may be the result of a missed time switching event, not the cause of it. Causes include low engine oil pressure. From improper engine oil level, either too high or too low can cause aeration of the oil. An internal leak in the V-loam due to a failed solenoid or leaking gasket to the block. Sludge inside the engine, restricting oil flow through the V-loam filter screen. View oil pressure in the cylinder deactivation data list. Known good vehicles have around 25 PSI or 172 kPa or greater at a hot idle. If the reading is 19 PSI or 131 kPa or less at hot idle with new engine oil, inspect the V-loam filter screen located beneath the oil pressure sensor at the back of the V-loam. When replacing AFM lifters, Clean the oil control passages in the engine block by blowing through them with shop air. If a lot of debris is noted, flush the passages with brake cleaner and change the engine oil and filter. Inspect the camshaft for worn lobes and scoring of lifter bores. Install AFM lifters into the guide by aligning the notched area of the guide with the tab of the lifter. Each guide holds two AFM lifters and two regular lifters. If any AFM lifters are unlocking or collapsed, replace the V-loam, all AFM lifters, all plastic lifter guides, and any other damaged components. Once again, I'm Jim Rokitsky for AC Delco. Thanks for watching.